I'm Helen Mason. I'm the general counsel for the Morgan Sindel Group of Companies. My name's Annika Gill. I'm head of bids at Morgan Sindel Property Services. Hello, my name is Alex Bowers and I'm a section engineer working under the infrastructure branch of Morgan Sindel. So my name's Barbara Akinkumi. I am an assistant design manager at Level Partnerships London. So my name's Ellie Jackson. I work within the social values and health, health and safety team. Hello, um, my name is Gemma Austin. I'm an assistant site manager. My name's Mary Murray. I work for Baker Hicks and I am a BRIAM assessor. My name is Cara Henderson. I'm business development manager uh, working for Construction Scotland. The UN Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, once said, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. And I think she's got a point. So I'm really inspired by women who set out to help other women and to support them and see them grow. And for one of those people would be a woman like Cheryl Sandberg, who's the Chief Operating Officer of Facebook. The, the women that support me and inspire me, that, that there is one main person in, in, in my life personally who does, and that's my grandma. So to me, she's more than just a grandma. I see her for the woman that she is, strong, independent, very credible, very forward-thinking, open-minded woman, especially for a woman of her time as well. Um, and that, to me, that inspires me. I have so much respect for her. I look up to her and she's, all, she's always been there for me. She's gotten me through so many of my personal and academic milestones. So she's my best friend, she's my grandma, but she's also my number one fan. My mother would be a massive inspiration to me. Um, I, do, I lost her a few months ago due to cancer. Um, and she always in, inspired me. If you have a passion for something, then, then go for it. I think it's about feeling comfortable enough and confident to challenge other people's ideas without being confrontational, about finding opportunities for change and improvements and challenging those with your own ideas. So we choose to challenge, um, and I think this is just on time because even for me right now, I'm going on to a project where I'll have to do certain things and be responsible for certain things. And for me, that's going to be a challenge. So I think um, in line with this year's theme, choose to challenge, I'll just say, take up on tasks and things that you've never done before and just do it knowing that you'll grow from it. Don't back down from the challenging things. Go full throttle. I think it would probably be meeting people I meet so many different people throughout the whole kind of lifespan of the project and I, I, I get to see it which is really nice part of the job part of my job is um, I get to look at the design of the building first but I also get to go back out and check what has been done when it's complete so it's really really lovely seeing the building almost from kind of before concept stage right the way through to being constructed and there's a certain amount of pride uh, of, of I had a wee bit, just a wee part of that in the, in the, in the scheme of things. <laughs> so for me, the absolute best part of the job and the reason I became a civil engineer is to see projects come to life. I get to come to work every day and go home and see something that we physically achieved. Like we can see it in the ground, we can feel it in the concrete, you can see the muck that's moved. And for me, that real physical sense of achievement is hugely important and yes, yeah, definitely one of the reasons I became a civil engineer. But I think for me, it's seeing a project come to life on site. Uh, being in a business development role, you often spend years working on a project before it even comes to tender. And then when you win that tender and then actually stand on site, seeing it being built and, and the positive difference it's going to have to the communities around about you. Um, it's a really proud moment knowing that you've had a small part to play in the legacy of that project. So I think that's really the most rewarding part of my job. Usually my motto is shy boys don't get sweeties, but basically if you don't ask, you don't get. So you always need to kind of keep pushing and asking and, you know, not let things just go by. So if you don't know something, always ask. And if you want to do something, always ask, because the worst they can say is no. My motto is hard hat hustlers. Well, I'd say construction is a very environment of as should we say banter so lots of people are hustling to get the job done so, and I'm definitely one of those hustle people you know talk to someone what talk your way around something to get something done that is definitely me that's why I chose hard hat hustlers 
Um, that would be stone crab claws followed by key lime pie at Joe's in Miami. If you go to Miami, go to Joe's, have this for lunch. You can thank me later. And if you go to Joe's and don't have this for lunch, then when you come back, you must lie to me and tell me you did. In fact, if you go to Joe's and you don't have this for lunch, I'm not sure we can be friends. Possibly my mum's homemade chicken kiev, because anything deep fried with garlic butter is a winner. <laughs> or anything with garlic and butter. It'd probably have to be anything carb-loaded Italian pasta dish. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my ultimate favourite. Uh, followed by probably some apple crumble or maybe sticky toffee pudding or probably if it was my last supper, I'd have both. I'm fluent in Spanish. Mi talento secreto es que hablo español perfectamente. So in terms of talents, uh, well, whenever I can, I ride really, really big motorbikes. Um, so you, everyone's seen the film Top Gun, right? Well, I have one of my motorbikes is the current version of the bike that Tom Cruise rides in that film. And riding a motorbike on a glorious English summer's day, well, is one of the very best feelings in the world. It could only really be better if I was riding home from Lords after England and beat Australia.